Looking for a quick crash course on the ESFP personality type? If so, then you are in the right place. My name is Leon, this is Body Mind 360, and in today's video, I will share with you the top five things to know about the Myers-Briggs ESFP personality type. For your convenience, I have added timestamps for this video in the pinned comment below. If you want to keep up with all of my latest videos on improving your body and mind, then make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to be alerted of new videos when they drop. Now let's get started. As we begin this top five list, I want to point out that it relates to personality types as utilized within the Myers-Briggs type indicator. I made a video outlining the top five things that you need to know about Myers-Briggs type indicator personality types, and I highly recommend you watch it as you dive into my other personality type related content. You will find it linked in the upper right hand corner of this video right now as well as on the end screen of this video. Now on to the top five list of things that you need to know about the ESTP personality type. Number one, ESFPs, the well-traveled social butterflies. ESFPs are high-spirited lovers of life. They are innately interested in people and new experiences. They live in a moment and find enjoyment in people, food, material goods, animals, and the outdoors. They truly appreciate their possessions and are more likely to be viewed as materialistic by others. They are highly observant of their surroundings, tend to be quite practical and focused on the here and now. Number two, ESFP disconnection from traditional schooling systems. ESFPs often struggle to connect with traditional schooling systems. They tend to dislike theory and written explanations while learning best through doing and diving into things head first, opting to learn as they go. Schooling becomes easier for ESFPs when they are allowed to interact with people and identify the relevance of the subject being studied. Their tertiary preference for thinking may also lead them to prioritize their feeling fueled enjoyment over their thinking based obligations. Number three, ESFPs, easygoing peacemaker people magnets. ESFPs are a lot of fun to be with. They have a lot of fun in life and their enthusiasm along with their exuberant nature draws others to them. Their feeling preference being their auxiliary function leads them to make decisions using their personal values. They tend to be generous, warm, sympathetic, and tactful. This combined with their dominant sensing function leads ESFPs to being keen observers of human behavior. They are good at interpersonal interactions and often play the role of peacemaker in groups. Number four, ESFPs, keeping it real simple and easygoing. ESFPs like to keep things easy going. Their strength is in their flexibility and adaptability to change. They rarely plan ahead and dislike structure. A repetitive routine will also quickly bore an ESFP. ESFPs will also go out of their way to avoid complex situations or people as they are likely to bog down their easygoing and free-flowing nature. And number five, ESFPs under stress, blaming the universe. 
No personality type is perfect, and each type is susceptible to different responses under high levels of stress. When under great stress, ESFPs may feel overwhelmed internally by all the negative possibilities they are facing. A defensive mechanism may lead them to channel their energy into developing an overly simplistic global explanation for their overwhelmed state. In this state, they may also fail to look at the long-term consequences of their actions. Instead, only addressing the immediate needs facing themselves and others. This tendency is usually exaggerated under high levels of stress. ESFPs in such states tend to stand out like a sore thumb as their magnetic nature puts all eyes on them. Having a strong emotional support network can be greatly beneficial to ESFPs during their period of trials and tribulations. I hope this top five video gives you a good initial view of the ESFP personality type. Make sure to check out my ESFP playlist popping up in the upper right hand corner to check out more ESFP content. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon to be alerted when new top five videos for the other personality types drop. If you would like an advanced look into yourself and your personality type, then you can take advantage of my consulting services listed in the description below. And for watching until the end, you can enter discount code INDEPTHP2020 at checkout for $10 off your purchase. See you next time on your journey to a healthier body and mind.